wanted to talk about is we've seen a lot of starting quarterbacks get moved around in the NFL this year Mm -hmm. um, based on injuries, trades, just, I mean, starters playing badly, backups coming in. Uh, We've seen a lot of them. One you're familiar with, Zach Wilson. Do you think that his career as a starting quarterback in the NFL is over? As a starter? As yes. a starter. As I think he will. Here's what I'll say. Whether or not it's with the Jets, I think he's going to get another chance to be a starter. Right. But I don't think he's going to win a starting competition with whoever, whatever QB he's going against. And I think really with – the issue with Zach Wilson is that besides his, he has the fact that he has slow processing speed and the fact that he's been kind of all over the place um, in terms of accuracy. The main issue with him is mentally. He just doesn't have that. He doesn't have really kind of, he's in his own head. He doesn't have confidence right now throwing the ball. And that's really been the stem of all of his issues. And more importantly, he's always just scared whenever he's in the pocket. He can't, doesn't have a command enough pocket presence. And in the NFL, that is a very underrated trait, probably one of the most important traits, because as you can see, when you don't have pocket presence, everything else just gets messed up and you're just all over the place in terms of accuracy and, you know, turning the ball over is much more frequent. And I don't think that's something really to be able to fix because his frame is, he's, I think he's like six, one or six, two. He's smaller than average. No, I think, I don't think he even is that small. I'll, I'll check it right now, but. His speed. Uh, uh, his Zach Wilson size, is, is six foot two. two. He's six two. So he's he not plays, undersized. But he's he just... plays like he's five eleven or five ten. The way he plays, yeah. it's just he always looks so small. Always looks so scared to take a hit. And he's not like other small quarterbacks where he's really good at getting out of the pocket and making a play. Because oftentimes he runs right into the defensive tackle, right into the edge rusher. He's not good at breaking contain or good at getting out of the pocket. And when he does get out of the pocket, he's not really good at making the right decisions or being accurate outside the pocket. So I just don't think he's going to be someone that's going to be a starter for any team. Maybe he'll get a chance again because of his tools, but I don't think he's going to be a starter. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I think he's too young and too uh, too raw to not give another yeah. chance. Um, you, you don't take this second-year quarterback who's drafted number two overall and only give him one chance. I think he deserves more than that. Um, I don't I don't think that Jet that that – that chance will come with the Jets again, though. Mm-hmm. I think the Jets are going to be kind of scarred by the Darnold and then Wilson the last five years, six years for them. So it's just been, I think, not that he moves away this year, but I think he'll serve as the backup next year should the Jets go into the draft and take a quarterback, or even if they decide to go to Mike White, pick up a free agent quarterback. Chris Strevler came in and outplayed Zach Wilson hmm. last night. Um, I think they could go to pretty much anybody right now and it would be a a better deal than zach wilson 